Trilocyclib is an intravenous CDK4-6 inhibitor. It inhibits sensitive cells from going through the cell cycle, sort of puts them to sleep, you might think of, in, in lay terms. Uh, one of the reasons we chose to study it in this particular tumor type of small cell lung cancer is because that lung cancer type has lost the ability to utilize this protein called RB. So those cells will just continue to grow. However, the bone marrow cells, the cells that make your platelets, your red blood cells and your white blood cells, are still very sensitive to this. So we felt that if we inhibit that with this drug, perhaps those cells would then go to sleep and be in a dormant phase when the chemotherapy hit, then they would you know, wake up from their dormant phase, just sort of like taking a you know, siesta there during, during the time that the hurricane was coming over. So that's, that was the hypothesis that we would do. It was a phase two trial. It was a randomized double-blind study of the only second-line chemotherapy that's FDA approved for this setting, which is called Topotecan. Now, I've used Topotecan for 20 years, and it's a, a drug that is well tolerated, except for the fact that it makes or your blood counts go in the tank often. So we've all, often had to make adjustments in the dose and delay and all sorts of other things to get the treatment in. So we felt this was an ideal sort of scenario to study. So. The patients in one arm received topotecan alone, and the other arm they received topotecan plus trilocyclib given just before each dose of topotecan. And uh, then we looked to see the main endpoint of the study was the occurrence of severe neutropenia because we felt that was the most damaging to the patient. That's what might end the patient up in the hospital uh, requiring IV antibiotics and all of that. So that's, or potentially even uh, sometimes people will die from that. They'll still die from sepsis. So trying to avoid that we thought was the most important endpoint. So the main endpoints were the duration of severe neutropenia and the occurrence of any severe neutropenia in the first cycle. We did allow the patients to get uh, GCSF and erythropoiesis stimulating agents after the first cycle if they needed it. And we did meet the primary endpoints of the study. We found that there was less severe neutropenia and uh, less duration of neutropenia in the arm that got trilocyclin. We also found trends in the same direction as far as the red cells go and the uh, platelets go, but they were not as dramatic as we saw with the white cells, which is, would be expected because the white cells are proliferating them most rapidly.